Hi guys, I'm Eileen. Today, I want to share with you the 10 things you can consider investing in for your wardrobe. When it comes to shopping, I always prioritize quality over quantity. I believe in investing in a few well-made pieces that can last you for years rather than buying aimlessly and creating clutters for your wardrobe. So I don't actually mind saving up a bit longer if that means I will get to enjoy higher quality and longer lasting materials. And now without further ado, let's see which are the 10 elements that might be worth your money. The first luxury items worth investing in are sunglasses. I don't mind paying more for sunglasses because I think they are very important and functional accessories in any wardrobe. I'm a sunglasses lover myself, so I do bring my sunglasses no matter where I go. For a while, I only had three pairs in my collection, so I was really excited to add these beautiful sunglasses from Portrait Eyewear. All their pieces are handmade in Italy. You will not see any logo on their sunglasses, but the quality speaks for itself, and that for me is the definition of low-key luxury. Their designs are very contemporary and refreshing. I went for these because the design is quite timeless, but at the same time, they look quite playful as well because of the color combination. I think the brown color goes really well with the dark blue lenses. These sunglasses fit me so well. In fact, when I bend over, they don't slip off my face, which is a big bonus. I have quite an oval face shape, and I think these sunglasses look really flattering on me. In the past, I used to be quite hesitant about buying sunglasses online because they are quite personal items. So it can be a bit tricky to picture if the sunglasses would suit your face shape, hairline, and even skin tone. If you have the same concerns like me, you'll be glad to know that Portrait Eyewear has a fantastic virtual try-on feature, which is so easy to use. I had so much fun trying on all the pieces, and that's exactly how I picked these beautiful sunglasses, and I absolutely love them. The second luxury items worth investing in are small leather goods. Now, if you follow me for a while, you will know I'm not too keen about having a big collection of small leather goods. Mostly because I don't enjoy transferring things between my pieces, I just find that a bit tedious. Besides, small leather goods are mostly hidden away inside the bag, so I don't feel like they play a big role in completing an outfit. Nevertheless, I do recommend investing in your everyday small leather good pieces. If you think about it, small leather goods are very hardworking pieces because we do reach for them a lot. So my suggestion is, have a small collection, but go for really well-made pieces and then use them for a long time. If you don't use any cash, a Chanel card holder is both beautiful and practical. I also love my trusty Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Uh, this carries all my miscellaneous items like hand cream and sunscreen. Another category worth investing in is skincare. I think it's always a good idea to look after your skin rather than buying the most expensive foundation. This is however not suggesting that you should only buy luxury skincare. I'm sure you know skincare products are very personal items and quite often the price tags don't necessarily reflect the performance. I use quite a few drugstore products in my skincare routine and they work very well for me. That said, if you come across something that works wonders for your skin but might cost a bit more, just remember both you and your skin are worth investing in. I also recommend visiting the dermatologist if you have any skin problems like severe acne or eczema. It will not be cheap, but for me, it was money well spent. I used to have pretty consistent breakout on my chin. And after trying out so many products, I decided to see the dermatologist. The bill was hefty, but I'm glad I did it because now I'm so much more confident with my clear skin. Next ones are handbags. I feel like for a lot of us, handbag is often the star of the show and the biggest accessory. As much as I love luxury handbags though, I try to keep my collection to a reasonable size because I want to allocate my money to other areas as well to create a more balanced wardrobe. 
So when selecting my handbags, I always prioritize practicality and cost per wear. Essentially, I want to make my money's worth by going for pieces that I'll be wearing a lot without too much worry. Now, the exact criteria for a perfect handbag will differ for everyone depending on lifestyle and personality. For me personally, I'm more drawn to durable leathers, neutral colors, functional sizes, and best still if that's a top handle. Now, the luxury handbag department used to be my area of weakness and I've made quite a few impulse purchases. At this point though, I feel like I have enough handbags for any occasions, so I do think long and hard before adding any new pieces to my collection. Next, you can also consider investing in everyday fine jewelry. Now, jewelry are often very small elements, but they can really add that magic touch to the entire outfit. For a lot of us, fine jewelry is probably not the very first thing we shop for on our luxury journey. But I think having a small core collection of fine jewelry that you can wear every day and for any occasions can be worth the investment. So instead of buying fashion jewelry, try to save up a bit longer for a pair of diamond stud earrings, a simple necklace or a bangle. If you invest in precious metals, it means you can wear your pieces pretty much all the time, even in the shower. Besides, I think passing your fine jewelry down as the family heirloom can feel really special too. Number six is cashmere. Now, I don't usually buy a lot of clothing, but I think good quality cashmere can be worth investing in because it's such a wonderful material. Now, obviously, cashmere is incredibly soft on the skin, but I also love that it's a very breathable material. So it keeps you very warm when the temperature drops, but at the same time, it's also very cooling when it's warm. When treated carefully, cashmere can last a long time, so you really don't need a massive collection. I have about six to seven cashmere sweaters, which I rotate very frequently, especially in the winter, and they are worth every penny. Now, cashmere is not the cheapest, but I don't actually mind paying more for the better material rather than buying pieces made with synthetic acrylic. Next are comfortable shoes. When it comes to shoes, I believe in paying more for comfort because my feet work really hard for me. I'm not sure if you've experienced this before, but I went on a few trips where I had to do a lot of sightseeing and walking, and I really wish I brought comfortable shoes rather than the pretty ones. So now, comfort is the top priority for me when I do my shoe shopping. Personally, I don't find high heels very comfortable to walk in, so I mainly invest in designer flat shoes. In fact, I wear my flat shoes even to special occasions now like weddings. My personal favorites are Roger Vivier's and Christian Labatons. As for my daily walking shoes, I mostly wear tots. Number eight, depending on where you live, a weather appropriate outerwear like a coat and a jacket is a fantastic investment. I bought a Woolrich Parker jacket last winter and I've been wearing it so much. This jacket is made of 70% down and 30% feather, so it keeps me so warm and cozy. Now this jacket does cost quite a bit more than a Parker jacket from a fast fashion store, but I think your body will be able to tell the difference. Another really good value piece from my wardrobe is my Burberry trench coat because I've been wearing it so much. In fact, I wear it pretty much all year long apart from the very warm summer days. Now this is another category that I don't think you need to have a big collection of. But just make sure you choose very carefully and go for something that will go well with everything in your wardrobe and something you look forward to putting on every single time. Another category worth investing in are scarves. I think scarves are fantastic accessories. Not only do they keep you warm, there are also so many ways to style them. I usually wear very simple outfits, so when I put on a scarf, it just really helps to pull everything together. 
Personally, I recommend investing in very reliable and comfortable material like silk and cashmere. I absolutely love the cashmere scarves from Hermes. They are quite expensive, so I only have two pieces in my collection and I make sure to go for pretty neutral colors just so it's easy to pair them with anything in my wardrobe. As with silk pieces, I have a silk scarf from Burberry and another one from Louis Vuitton. As you can see, most of my pieces are in pretty neutral colors. So although it's not a big collection, they are serving me very well. So I'm not actively looking to add more unless if I come across something very special. Last but not least, I think it's a good idea to invest in comfortable pajamas. I think we all value a good night's sleep after a long day and wearing something comfy, cozy and luxurious can be a really nice way to treat yourself. I've been wearing my silk pajamas throughout the summer this year and I love them because the smooth texture just feels so pampering on my skin. So I have been thinking to add a set of long silk pajamas for the colder months. There you have it. Those are the 10 things you can consider investing in for your wardrobe today. As Vivian Westwood said, buy less, choose well and make it last. So definitely take some time to assess your wardrobe and see what you should invest your hard-earned money in to last you for decades. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share, like and subscribe. I will see you in my next one. Have a nice day.